All right, next up, I've got a box on the Pokemon Center to unbox that arrived. You know, we're about the first half of January of last month, 2022. I haven't had a chance to say 2022 very much. I was about to say 2021, but it is in fact 2022. What's in this box? Hell if I know. So let's open it up and find out. That is not the way I wanted to open this box. I was hoping to, you know, just cleanly rip the tape off and pop it open, but instead I'm just ripping the box badly. Yeah, God. This is not going exactly as planned. Let me uh, throw out that invoice. All right, so here I have got a box of plushies from the Pokemon Center. These look like they're sitting cuties plush. I don't know, maybe about four in here. I guess we'll find out. So first up, we have got Luxio. It's the middle evolution of the Shinx line. It's neither cute little baby Shinx nor, you know, kind of crappy, mediocre Luxray. But this is in fact, Luxio. It's a little bit more imposing than Shinx and also a little bit less cute. Uh, here it is. It's sitting. It's got lots of beans in its butt. Here's its tail. Here's its face somewhere between fierce and baby like. It's okay. I bought it because, you know, I had to because I'm buying all of these sitting cuties from Gen 4, Diamond Pearl, Sinnoh region. But, you know, there's nothing I particularly love about this. It's just that I needed to have it. It was out of stock for a little while. When it came back in, I was like, I'd better buy it. Next up, we have another middle evolution that I don't especially care about in Gabite. So, let me get this opened up. Uh, I accidentally purchased two Jibles by mistake, and I have not been able to get a Garchomp yet. But this is the Landshark Middle Evolution Gabite. Uh, you know, he's got his eyes, he's got his little teeth on the side, not gigantic chompers like Fat Baby G Jibel had. And he looks similar to how Garchomp's eventually going to look. There's a lot of detail in this plush. I can't necessarily see it, but you probably can. I can see that there are some colors. I can feel some embroidering and stuff on him. Uh, I think they did a good job probably with this Gabite, but again, it's a middle evolution, which most people do not particularly care about. So, you know, I bought him kind of because I was obliged to, as opposed to, you know, having any actual feeling for Gabite, which I just don't. Next up in this box, we have... Oh, it's another Pokemon I felt obliged to buy, and that's because I own both the middle and final evolutions. Here we have Badoo, the baby form of Rosalia. This was available, it was one of the first like six or eight or 10 or whatever, how many were available on the first day that the Sinnoh Sitting Cuties started being posted on the Pokemon Center. I didn't buy it then, but I did buy it now because after it was out of stock, I was like, maybe I should get that because I'm gonna have to eventually get it anyway. Here's Badoo. Uh, I don't know if she has like eyes on this weird antenna thing on her head or what, but they look kind of weird. I've never noticed those before. Uh, the tag is bigger than she is. She's nice and squishy, like a koosh ball. Like, I don't know. It's fine, but it's a Badoo. It's one of those useless baby Pokemon added after the fact that, you know, are complete garbage and there's no reason for them to exist. Except for Pichu, who's adorable, and Munchlax is kind of growing on me. I do love Togepi and the way it's used in the anime. But, you know, first stage Pokemon added after you've already had a later evolution are never a big hit with me. And then we have Bibarel, the less popular, less interesting evolution of Bidoof. Emperor Bidoof's back there, and I love my comfy friends. Emperor Bidoof an awful lot. This Bibarel, I don't particularly love what is on. He's got like a piece of felt or something that was caught on his tooth. Once I pulled that off, I think he looks a little bit better. But like, you know, Bibarel is the obligatory, uh, useless early game normal type Pokemon. Uh, it has a couple of abilities that are at least quasi interesting in the game, but like, Otherwise, it's a mostly useless, even by the early mid game, even towards the beginning of the game, I would say, but Barrel's pretty useless and it's not cute like Bidoof and it's not fun or quirky. Uh, the back of its tail is very bush, is very heavy. It's definitely gonna fall down like if you try to lift it up, 
like this is fine but like Bavero is you know it's ugly I, I kind of want a regional evolution of Bidoof that's just like a bigger and cooler Bidoof and that was the last thing that was in the box so today we have Bavero and Badu. what else was in this box Luxio and Gabite for Pokemon I am not like in love with or anything but that I needed to buy for the collection before they went out of stock again you can get them I think they're all 1099 Pokemon in the Pokemon Center Gabite might have gone back out of stock but I imagine the rest of these are probably still available and not all that popular so here you go some random Pokemon that are few people's favorites I have talked about them here today. These are all nice quality. I don't have any particular complaints about them. If you're thinking about these, like, and you want to have a big collection and these strike your fancy, I don't have any warnings or any reason not to get them. But, you know, here's these four Pokemon, including a Barrel Plush, which is one of the few that I think is going to be made of that particular Pokemon. All right, that's it for today. I will be back with more Pokemon shit to unbox soon because I'm still surrounded by Pokemon Center labeled boxes that I don't know or remember what is in. Okay, bye.